allowing myself to be a channel of love and divine messages for the higher good for everyone I am open and I am receiving Greetings, beautiful souls of Earth. We are a council of the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, and the Golden Light Beings. here today to let you know to let you know that you are being helped that we are all here to assist you in your evolutionary process We are here to let you know that light is winning. The forces of the dark is slowly failing. They are trying very hard. They are trying very hard to succeed Because that's the way they can control through the power of money and fear so yes they are trying very hard but they are failing and light is winning ancient healers on your planet are working their magic at the moment weaving around your planet sending messages out healing waves working in the dream time Dreaming the world into being. The shamans, the healers. Of your ancient worlds. Are all working together, reaching out, reaching out to you. Reaching out to you in your dream time in your sleep and you may be visited you may be visited by them in your dreams you may receive messages from them they are sending out they are reaching out they are sending out to all the light workers on this planet on your planet it's working it's lighting up so many lights are being awakened and so yes join the party leave aside your worries your anxiety 
your depression. You may be suffering, but leave aside your suffering because you have been called upon to come stand in line to do your duty to do your work you are here you have been in training for this very day for this very time it is now time to come out and serve your purpose, what you're supposed to do. And the elders are here to help you. They may not be with you physically. You may feel alone physically, but they are reaching out to you. So close your eyes. Spend some alone time in meditation, gently breathing. That's the time you can connect with the entire network that has been created by the elder, by the elders. You can connect with us during that time. So close your eyes, spend some quiet time, some alone time every day and reach out. Ask, what is it that you must do? And the ancient healers, the shamans, the spirits, they are reaching out to you light workers workers, all souls, empaths, it is time for you to realize your power, that you are a creator. Create. And no, don't wait for tomorrow to feel better. Create now. Now is the time. If you are depressed, leave your depression aside and create. Create an artwork, create a song, whatever it is that you like to create. Draw in your art the world that you want to be in, the world of love and light and joy and peace. Draw that in your art. Dream then, create that world into being, into your art. Create it, you are a creator. Create it now. Write into that song the world that you want to be in. The world of love, the world of light, the world of joy and peace. Write that song, you are a creator. Write that story, you are a storyteller. Write that story of love, of joy, of peace. You are a storyteller, right? In whatever way that you want to create, create now. And if you say that you are depressed, you are sad, and you don't feel good in your body, then here's a tip. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Inhale all the way into your belly. And exhale through your mouth, long and slow. And then say out loud to yourself, What is it that I want to contribute? What is it that I want to see in the world? The world that I want to be in. I 
and just pick up your tools whatever it is that you are doing writing or drawing or whatever creating tool that you want to use and just start start the process just start no matter how you are feeling no matter how you are feeling no matter how dark you are where you are Focus on how you want the world to be and start creating that. Put that in paper. And you are playing a part in creating that world. You are a powerful creator. There is great power in that and you will only know that when you start doing. And the byproduct of it will be you will be relieved of your depression. You will be filled with joy when you are creating from joy, you are creating with joy. You will be filled with joy. And when your body is filled with joy, you will be lifted. And you will start your own process of healing. So yes, this is going to work at a multiple at multiple levels, at multiple levels. When you create the world of joy, you are creating yourself a being of joy. So when you're healing the world, you are healing yourself. And when you're healing yourself, you are healing the world. We are all connected by an energetic thread. All beings on your planet are connected and all of you are connected to us to the entire universe every single being on this in this entire universe every single thing every single being every single planet stars everything is connected by the thread of energy and that's why we are here to help that's why we are here to help because we are connected we're not here to help because We want to help you or we can help you or we think we're better and therefore we can help you no that's not the reason we are here because what effect what happens on your planet affects us through this thread of energy that we're all connected with what happens on your planet affects us you see if earth implodes because people do not wake up then that will have a rippling effect to the universe the energy that comes out of earth is already affecting the universe and you humans don't realize that you are the ones creating your own woes and your sufferings. There have been fires killing many. There have been viruses, there have been wars, there have been all kinds of things that you have created to damage yourselves, but you don't realize that you have created these yourselves. It's all those fears and all those angers that you have generated on a collective level and that energy that you vibrate out of you becomes the energy of the planet and that's what you're sending out and that's what you're getting back there has been so much anger 
collective anger and that's the energy coming back and burning your planet so many wildfires around the world why do you think that's happening it's the anger that's burning yourselves So it is time to realize that fear and anger do not serve any purpose but only damage yourselves. And the sooner you realize this, the sooner you can wake up, the sooner you can heal yourselves and the sooner you can heal your planet. And we uh, talked about choosing your sides in the last channeling. And we reiterate and reinforce once again, choose your side. And why are we repeating? Because there are people who are still ignorant. And yes, they are good people they have a good heart good soul and they have not done anything bad to another they are honest and truthful and good human beings and they think they are on the side of light they may be God fearing God worshippers doing good things and they may think they are on the side of light but you know what if you are all of that and you are serving the dark unknowingly you are still on the side of the dark and you may ask, how is that possible? Yes, it is possible. If you are serving those masters because you feel the need to earn money for yourself, to feed your family, and therefore you use the word, I need to work to earn a living, And as you are doing that, serving a master who are serving the dark forces, you are serving the dark forces, you see? And for you empaths, life workers, it will get more challenging. If you are still staying in that place of telling yourself that you need to serve a master because you need the money and you are continuing to serve you are continuing to serve the dark forces unknowingly you will begin to suffer or you will continue to suffer if you're already suffering you will continue to suffer physically or mentally because your soul is guiding you letting you know that you are not in the right place and you must get out and you must get into the light come into the light so that's why we are repeating this message again to choose your side wisely light is winning the dark forces are failing Is a lot of good work happening on the planet right now there is still a lot of light pouring in to help your planet and why are we doing this why is the universe helping you because as we said we are all connected we are all connected and if earth implodes 
or explodes. If Earth destroys itself because of the way humans are, that energy is going to be projected out onto the other planets around, which has a repercussion to the to the universe. And so to maintain this equilibrium of the universe, to maintain the peace, the balance of the, the harmony of the universe, it is important to calm down your planet. Earth has been volatile for a long time now. But since the last few years, and especially since the last eight years, as more and more people have been waking up and the spiritual evolution of mankind is, has been proceeding quite rapidly. And although we have always been there to assist you, we have not been able to assist you because you have not reached out to us, but now more and more of you are reaching out. More and more of you are opening up. The earth is healing, the earth is lifting its vibration, raising its vibration. And so we are here, we are here to help you, we are here to assist you. We are here for our own good as well to maintain the balance, the harmony of this universe, for we are the guardians of this universe. It is important for humans to understand that you are bigger than you know but you play a bigger role than you know. And to become conscious of this fact that you are not just existing on your own, that you are not just there to live for a short while, eat, sleep, and work. No, you're not there to just do that. You're here for bigger things. You're here to play a part. You are part of the evolution, of Earth's evolution. You are an evolving human. And you are not just a human, but you are a spirit who is multidimensional, who is multi-present, who is multi-diverse, is part of this entire universe. You are a star seed. You have traveled across many planets. You are here to do so much better. You are here 
to be a light, you are here. To shine, you are here to grow. And that is why we're here. To help you in that growth, to assist. And to let you know that you play a big role, a big part in maintaining the harmony of this universe, that you are the universe. We are all here together, we are all connected. And so we want you to remember this and we want to assure to you that light is winning and you play a, an important part in creating that world of tomorrow. You are a creator. You are a creator. So create. Create your world of tomorrow. Create. And as always, there is so much love and we're always here. We're always here. We're always here.